something that uh, still we are left with the chapter fourth, which is Guten Appetit. And in this chapter, uh, yesterday we were doing uh, things where we were keeping the time at third place. And we have also learned that time in a sentence we can use at first place also. So in our today's class, we will specifically focus on the cases that we have in German and also will work on the time, like how do we ask time. Yeah. So just for a second, I will be showing here. We have done um, sentence structures and we have in German Aus Zagersatz, which is very simple sentence. Suppose uh, you want to make a simple sentence, then you always need subject, then we need verb, and then if we have time, we can keep, otherwise object is also required and simple full stop in the ending. As you know, in German, Subject is actually known as nominative. Subject is called in German nominative. After that, we have the verb. So, verb you have learned like heißen, common, gehen, fahren, expression. Yeah, you have done all these verbs. You can use it as per the subject given. Then it is about the time. So you can keep the time at third place. But after that, if we talk about object, that object is called in German accusative. Object is called accusative. So uh, when we make the sentence, we just uh, have a simple subject, we have the verb and after that we need to put a question. What? After subject and verb, we need to put a question which is what? And that what always gives the answer which is object in the sentence. And that we can call accusative in German. Just like if I give you the example. Ich mache die Haus auf Gabe. Ich mache die Haus auf Gabe means I am doing the work. I am doing the homework. House of Kabe, homework. My next sentence. Ich lerne Deutsch. Ich lerne Deutsch. Um, I can also try with the another subjects like er, kauft, tomaten. Tomaten is tomatoes. He is buying tomatoes. Z schreibt eine email. Z schreibt eine email. She writes an email. Or she is writing an email. Another one can be here like um, Wir singen Singen means to sing. Wir singen ein Lied. Lied means song. We are singing a song. So you need to just uh, Describe the sentence, what parts we have. If I work on the subject, then it is ich, er, z, and wir. These all are the subject. 
Now I am having subject and verb. Ich mache. My next question arises here. What? I am doing what? So what I am doing? The homework. That is the answer of what? And that is my object. That I have to give with accusative article. Again, I would say here, German mein hamare paas articles bhi different different cases ke saath hote hai. Just like, uh, just like we have done the article there, the, thus, the. These are, these are all articles we have already done. And I told you the meaning of all these article is the only. The first one, if I talk about there, which we use for masculine, the we use for female, thus we use for neutral, and again the we use for plural. This is nominative article. Or we can say article in the nominative case. Only used for subject. These articles we can only use at the place of or things which are playing the role of subject. With that we can use these articles. But when we talk about object, then we will be needed accusative article and accusative article which is here object and that we have there becomes in accusative then remaining no change so the will be as it is the Thus will be as it is. This will be also the same. Yeah. So actually the article here from nominative to accusative get changed if the things are being used instead of subject to the object. If something we are using at the place of subject, we have to keep it with the nominative article only, which is the standard article. But the same item or anything that you are using at the place of object, there, accusative article should be written. Accusative articles we have then, the, thus, the. Okay. So here, Whatever I am writing at the place of object, I have to keep it with the accusative article only. So, this is actually the overall concept yeah, of understanding book. what is Head the accusative. I will not, I will just listen. Headset, no can away. See, in the right side, I have written all the articles again in both the cases. Singular. Uh, sorry, in the nominative and accusative case, uh, bestimter type, definite and unbestimter and negative. So here like in the nominative standard bestimter article we have, there, the, thus, the, then the, thus, the. Second unbestimter article we have ein, eine, ein, einen, eine, ein. Negative article we have kein, keine, kein, keine, keinen, keine, kein, keine. And here now I'm showing you the answer. I hope you have taken the screenshot. 
or you have noted down all these type of article with the nominative case and accusative. Mm -hmm. So here, these are the answer. So here, um, I think, um, Ruchi, you can read the first sentences. Then uh, yes. Saloni, you can read the next one. And Sia can try the last two, please. Please read. And uh, also, if possible, do translate. Yes. Okay. Haben wir noch Tomaten im Kühlschrank? Do we have still some tomatoes in the fridge? Kühlschrank is the fridge. Yeah. Nein, we have nur noch eine Gurke. No, we have only one cucumber. Aber ich kaufe gleich eine Cola. But I am just buying a Cola. Und Tomaten and tomatoes. Is this an Apfel? Is this an Apple? Nein. Das ist eine Birne. No, this is a beer. Third, schnell, fast. Es ist gleich 8 Uhr. It's just 8 o'clock. Ich brauche noch einen Salat und ein Brot. I need still a salad and a brot. Wo ist eine Suppe? Sorry, wo ist eine Bäckerei? Ich brauche noch einen Kuchen. Where is a bakery? I still need a cake. Ich koche eine Suppe. I am cooking a soup. Und wir essen ein Brötchen dazu. Okay? And we are eating a bread for along with this. Is this okay? So there uh, we had both the type of unbestimmter article. Yeah. I only, yeah, all the time. Is there any doubt? How, how will we know that when we have to write I and E, 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 I and E and not without E? I mean, there... Uh, see, if I, as I draw, uh, as I have written here the type of article, I have mentioned that all the masculine and neutral things, here it is, follow it. Masculine ein, neutral ein, but female is with the ending e. Female will be with the ending e. Okay. Things that are female like cola uh, is the, and so we'll write e. Eine cola. But cola is also plural form. Cola oh. is in the plural as it is same spelling cola. So if you are going to treat this as a female, the cola, mm -hmm. then use aina cola, where you are talking about only one cola. But if you think this cola uh, as a plural form, then this das is written. So this das is all all. Everywhere with the in form of plural, we can say. If you suppose that this is the plural form, then you can use it. Because they have singular and plural same spelling. Cola is cola for the plural also. Yeah, we. it's very difficult to differentiate between... <laughs> Once again... Um, differentiate between singular and plural in their... Uh, way like in india we write s for the plural in uh, india we have s and es like in english yes, we right. have s and es for the plural 
but in german yes. it is not in german you have many options you have e in the ending sometimes you have en in the ending sometimes you have er in the ending sometimes you have s in the ending sometimes there is no change okay okay Uh, so here we are going to the summary of this chapter. I have a call. Please give me some time. So this is here the summary of chapter fourth we have done. First of all, about the grammar. We have done irregular verbs. I told you there is always some spelling change. In a sentence, the position of time can be at first and third. But verb should be always at second. Article, we have nominative, we have accusative as recently I framed the table for accusative and dative. Verbs with accusative, just like brauchen to need, haben to have, machen to make something, to do something, kochen to cook something, essen to eat something, kaufen to buy something, Nehmen to take something, Mögen to like something, and Möchten to want something. All these verbs, if you are using in the sentence, and then if you are willing to provide any information which can be the answer of what, then that is called in German Akkusativ because it's the object. And now the top information of this summary, this is here. So I would request here, um, Ruchi, you will be reading and translating this information. For that, I am giving you uh, maximum three to four minutes. And then uh, Ria, you will be doing this one. Are you there? Please confirm. Yes. I think you can continue, Ruchi, this one also. Okay. And then, Saloni, you will be doing this. Okay. So, you people take your time. Then, we will continue with the translation. After that, we will watch a recorded uh, video of this chapter. And this will be the enough for this uh, chapter fourth today. So just uh, be ready with the translation and then we'll be. Ruchi, can you now begin? Okay. Um, yeah, bitte. Bitte was mute, uh, mutant, mutant Z. Ish muk. Ich möchte bitte haben Sie. Please, what do you like? I want. Uh, please, do you have? Sonst knock at it was. Ja, I. Ja, ich brauche knock. Nein, danke. 
is there anything else yeah uh, yes i need still no thank you is that's all else ya yeah, danke nein ish name nehme bitte noch is that all yes thank you no uh, i will take another please wo find a ish wo gibt is s dot rect links gear gearios gearios um uh, where i will find where uh, where i give this give yeah it is given so gift s comes or both together which means there is there is as gift means there is okay dot uh, right left ahead there hmm. was costed costin we feel costed costin what is the cost how much is the cost does costed z costin the cost is they cost konen z vlaishen ya moment can you change ya a moment uh good an appetite good app appetite dan uh, danke gleich voll uh good danke gleich voll thank you same to you mutes do knock mutin you can mukun z knock would you still like would you like would you would you want would you still want ya bitte schmeckt schmecken sehr gut ya uh, yes please it uh, yeah, please it it tastes very good ya gern ist sind sehr lecker yes uh, yes i like very uh, i like very much r uh, zind is uh, r very much nein danke ish esse keine no thank you i don't like it i don't eat it nein danke ish bin satt no thank you i am full yeah next person bitte essen trinken Sie gern. Do you like drinking? Uh, yeah, sehr gern. Nein, not so gern. Yes, very much. Nein, nicht so gern. Not that. Was isn't say. वास एजन से इस डू गैन वट डू यू डू इश ऐसे वट डू यू ईट वट डू यू लाइक टू ईट वट डू यू लाइक टू ईट इश माग गैन इश माग केनन zoom through stuff tinkan as ish naak mitab am naak mitab tinkan as ish gen vomi tag am vomi tag drink as ish mitag maak ish aben am ben mag ish gain ish trinken as of
Ah, uh, yeah. So, uh, this is here all about asking someone what would you like to eat and drink? How do you find it? Does it taste good or not? And then it is uh, about uh, doing a shopping of fruits and vegetables or all the grocery items. So, how to ask the people where it is available and where to buy this and how much is the cost. So uh, let's we watch this uh, video and we want to see what items they are buying. And uh, next, uh, they are actually uh, making something. So what they are making and how they are asking their neighbors for the help. So let's watch it. Thus, uh, moment, what and see. Hey, habt ihr heute Nachmittag Zeit? Ja. Super. Dann trinken wir zusammen Kaffee und essen Kuchen, okay? Oh ja. Gute Idee. Was brauchen wir denn? Kaffee und Milch haben wir. Und wir machen Kuchen. Einen Apfelkuchen. Mh, mm, lecker. Für den Kuchen brauchen wir noch... Mehl, Eier und Zucker. Äpfel und Butter haben wir. Wer geht in den Supermarkt? Also, was brauchen wir? Zucker, Eier und Mehl. Ah, kauft ihr auch noch Brot, Müsli, Orangensaft, Cola und Sahne? Mhm. Ja, klar, kein Problem. Mist, was brauchen wir? Ich glaube Äpfel und Butter. Und... Ach komm, wir nehmen auch noch Tomaten und eine Gurke. Und Schinken und Käse. Ach, hier ist ja noch Zucker und Mehl. Dann brauchen wir ja nur noch Eier für den Kuchen. 
Ich frage Frau Müller. Vielleicht hat sie Eier. Hallo. Entschuldigung, Frau Müller, haben Sie Eier? Wir machen einen Apfelkuchen. Ja, Moment, ich schau mal. Hier, bitte. Danke, das ist sehr nett. Gern. Wir haben Kuchen gekauft. Oh nein, was machen wir mit so viel Kuchen? Zuerst trinken wir zusammen Kaffee und essen Kuchen. Und dann fragen wir die Nachbarn. Frau Müller freut sich sicher. Na dann, guten Appetit. Danke, gleichfalls. Mmh, der Kuchen schmeckt wirklich sehr lecker.